Hello and welcome everyone to Blender 4 Geometry Notes for Beginners. In this course, we are excited to teach you to create your very own customizable stair generator using Blender. This course is designed to be intuitive and accessible, featuring step-by-step -step visualizations with helpful annotations and tools in the 3D view. Whether you are just starting out or are an experienced Blender user, this course is tailored for you covering a wide range of nodes in a way that is engaging yet not overwhelming. Plus, we've included on-screen keys to ensure you can easily follow along every step of the way. Our journey begins with creating a simple grid mesh, the density of which will be dependent on the length of your own drawn curve. This ensures that no matter the length of the created curve, the consistency and spacing of your stairs remain uniform. Next, we'll dive into transforming this grid into a staircase shaping it to fit a curved form while maintaining a consistent height for each step. This part of the course focuses on delicate balance between form and function in 3D design. Then, we'll take our created and deformed plane and skillfully turn it into a 3D mesh plane. This process is crucial to ensure that there are no geometry issues, especially as the mesh is centered on your drawn curve. Once we have the basic shape of the staircase, will enhance its design. We'll start with creating stepping stones at each corner, designed to be scaled in a user-friendly way to control their width and depth. During this process, we'll introduce you to custom parameters categorized for ease of use, allowing you to adjust the width and the number of steps along the staircase. After perfecting the stepping stones, our focus shifts to the creation of handrails along the edges of our staircase. This involves two main components, the handrails that follow along the edges and supporting poles that extend from these handrails. We will ensure that these elements are scaled appropriately according to the custom height setting for the handrails. You'll learn how to extract curvature information and adjust the handrail's height to align with the staircase steps. Additionally, this section includes creating a custom geometry node for elliptical meshes, which we will use to customize the design of the said handrails. We will introduce the controls for the handrails and poles, using the custom node group to create a variety of shapes. You'll discover how to offset the height of the railing and relay this information to the support to maintain their shape. Finally, we'll guide you in creating a selection for the control placement of supports, achieving a uniform and aesthetically pleasing variation for their placements. So, join us in Blender 4 Geometry Notes for Beginners, and embark on this journey to unlock your creative potential in 3D design and Blender.